In this class, you will learn how to use the rectangle command to sketch rectangles with square, chamfered, or rounded corners. Click this icon on the home menu to enable this command. Before starting, let's create a new layer named Rectangle and make this the active layer. Click the command and see how you can sketch any geometry freehand. In order to define an exact measurement for the rectangle, first define the origin point by typing the coordinates 0, 0. See how the rectangle starts from the system origin point. Of course, it is possible to define any other point on the workspace to start a drawing. Just input the coordinate values. When this command is enabled, you can see the displayed property options. It is possible to define chamfers, fillets, and even high relief options used for three-dimensional rectangles. Take a look at this example. Let's sketch a rectangle with rounded outlines. Click the Rectangle command and select the Fillet option. Input 20 for the radius and then type the size measurements, 200 for height and width. Take a look at this. The outlines are based on the predefined radii. It is also possible to do the same for defining chamfers. If the origin point of the rectangle is already displayed in the workspace, you will see some property options. Take a look at the command line for defining measurements. Select the area option and define the total area of the rectangle. Let's type 400 for the value. Then the command requests you to input the base for calculating the area. You need to define if it will be based on the rectangle width or height. Select length and type 20 for its length. Automatically the height is adjusted to match the defined area. The rotation command is another interesting option. Able the command, input the degrees to rotate the rectangle based on the XY plane. When a 20 degree angle is defined, you will see it placed based at the specified angle. When a rectangle is sketched, the lines will be drawn as a closed geometry. If you wish to modify any of them, there is a command to change these connected lines into separate lines. You find this option on the Modify pane. Take a look at this other example. Let's sketch some rectangles and use the Explode command to separate the lines. See how now you can edit these lines separately. The explode command is not often used in geometric drawings, but in some cases it can be extremely useful. But the rectangle command is used much more and it is recommended.